Another patch went live for Lotro. Update 31.0.3 went live today on Thursday, December the 2nd, 2021. And of course, as usual, we're going to take a look at the patch notes. Before going into specific patch notes, I do have a screenshot of the upcoming Store Wagon event bracelet rewards. And as you can see, they're all pretty, pretty good. And will definitely be best in slot for pretty much every class. So it seems like doing Storvagon this year will definitely be worth it. Doing the wrap request for your bracelet. But it's pretty safe to say that this will be the best in slot bracelet for a while. And going back to the patch notes, there's actually an undocumented uh, change. And that change is, of course... Salt on Durstroke and Den of Poglak now has tier 5 and 4 on live. You can go ahead and go and try to get your leggings, your shoulders and your boots, the teal outputs. That was not in the patch notes, but it is in the game. Concerning deeds, the deeds of Gundabad will properly update now if you have completed the deeds of Stone Jaws deed. So apparently Doing the meta deed for this area was not giving you the credit for like the meta quest, but that should be working now. A couple of PVMP notes. Lugazag will now spawn the appropriate keep commanders when flipped. So apparently Lugazag, this keep had some bugs with it when it got flipped and that has been fixed. And the other change is PVMP armor and jewelry will now be unequipped after leaving the Eton Wars. Cloaks will be disabled at a later date. This means that PVP gear such as this, you can see on the bottom it says it requires monster play, so you will not be able to wear this outside of Eton Wars anymore. Only the cloaks, but those will also be disabled at a later date. So if you're gearing up to play PvE, don't bank on PVP gear anymore. Looking at some quests and adventure areas from Fate of Gundabad. Pit of Stone Jaws instance, the apprentice's attack. This instance will no longer become stuck if you defeat the Dwarf Whites too quickly. I've had this exact thing happen to me. Where I was in a duo and we just nuked those dwarves really quickly and it bugged. That should be fixed now. Glooming Tarn. Idle Discourtesies quest, Spall no longer faces out after he travels to Lugun Hanala, so this quest is now completable. A lot of people might have done like quests in a bad order and you went to like I did, Idle Discourtesies, you want to hand it in. You went back here and Spall was nowhere to be seen. That has now been fixed. You can now go complete your quest. While before the patch, he was nowhere to be seen. He was just invisible here. Anyone who had problems with this quest, you can now go and complete the quest. There's also been a fix to a Welkin Loft's instance, the Giant's Den. It no longer becomes stuck if you free Horin from his bonds before freeing yourself from your own. Another bugged NPC has been fixed. It says Tiffy, but his name is Tiffly, I believe, in Cloven Gap, will no longer unintentionally fall through the floor. So when I played yesterday, you can see Tiffly is here now. When I played yesterday, he was, let's say, like 10 meters into the floor. And there's no way to get to him, but that has been fixed now. The door to the library in Assault on Durstruck is now closed until you find Nain. So apparently you were able to open this door without killing the bosses. I believe this is what they're talking about here. Fix an exploit that allowed players to summon Muta in higher tiers of Assault on Durstruck. So this was an exploit that was being talked about in my Discord server. You were actually able to summon Muta in like 3 mans of tier 3. And if they didn't fix it, you could probably do it for tier 4 and tier 5. And you would basically be like unbeatable and just easy mode the instance but that should be fixed now 
The effects from Muta's tenacity of the dwarves buff has been decreased. As you can see from this instance, on the last patch it got buffed to 75%, I believe. It's now taken down to 50%. And that's fine, I think, because it was probably too strong. But this buff now is 50% on all different stats. Hobgoblins in Gundabad have stopped holding back and their deep wound effect now properly deals damage instead of healing the player character. So their deep wounds effects apparently were healing the players. I didn't know about this, but that's been fixed. Reclaiming the Mountain Hold weekly and Challenges of Gundabad weekly now awards embers. Challenges of Gundabad weekly 500 embers. Reclaiming the Mountain Hold weekly, 500 embers. And a final note, brawlers can now properly advance the instance I need for words. That concludes my review from today's patch. Thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, join my discord, and I'll see you in the next one.